Welcome to another video of Gears Decks. This is Carlos, and today's topic is QML layout items. So let's get started. Previously, we have used positioners to set symbling elements together in different ways. Sometimes we need to set elements in more complex ways. For example, make one element fill the whole parent, or that the right edge of an element is glued with the left edge of another element. For this purpose, we have layout elements. Uh, the glue is called anchors, and uh, this concept is fundamental uh, for the item's properties use. So let's get started with the code. Uh, first, uh, let's make the fuel parent. So I have prepared a uh, background red and a red square component. Just let me set that the x zero, y zero, and if we run, it, we're going to see the result of this simple operation. But um, we're going to set the anchors right now. So it's left anchors field and simply like a field parent. In this way, we are filling the whole background. That it's gray and it's not possible to see it. So what we need to do is to set some margins here uh, of 20 and now you are able to see this space, this space from this edge to the other edge of the gray background is called uh, the margin, right? So we can define uh, different types of margins. One is the anchor flat margin uh, to just uh, set a margin the left edge. So let's follow with the other anchors. To m I think that uh, I need to make the distinction between this example and I'm going to add a text element to display the name of the layout that is being used. So simply I just need to set the text the need to the ID I'm sorry. What I need to do is the anchors center in. I'm going to explain this later. So now we just need to remove this and take some ones to put the fill parent. That's it. See if it works. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> In parent. Uh, we're going to talk later about the center wind. It's the last example that we're going to uh, explain. So now that we've finished with the anchor center wind of the parent, we can start talking about uh, left, right, top, and bottom alignment. So instead of using the anchors to the parent, uh, it's possible to make anchors um, left parent left. Uh, I don't think that I wanted to sh show the margins in this example. But what I'm going to do is to change the x to 215. Then in text, I'm going to put the left anchor at level. Uh, it will run it. You will see that the left anchor is in the top, but actually the only anchor that is set is the left anchor that is uh, uh, gluing the the red square with the background. You can do. Pretty much the same for the other sample. Just copy this and instead of using the anchor left, I'm going to use the bottom.
to this right and top here and bottom here. Um, let's see what's happening. Ooh. Okay, I know what's ho what's happening. Five hundred. You can see it's a uh, red top and core is glued with the bottom of the gray square. And to finish this, I think that I'm going to demonstrate the centering that we have seen in the text uh, relation with the red square. And there are two types of center alignment, is horizontal center and vertical center. Uh, we're going to create two red squares to show how they are displayed. So I'm going to copy this. That of course we can make a component and make easy or easier code. This one I'm going to put the X to zero and the Y to uh, 215. There are squares. Um, I'm going to advance and put another one here. And the anchors. I'm going to put a horizontal center. Let's make the same relation with the parent and change the text to horizontal. And it's very similar with the vertical center. The parent also should have vertical center. And don't forget to remove the two points. And just change this to vertical center. Vertical. So let's run it and see what's the result. And uh, here's the new one where the horizontal center is the middle of the X of the, the background. And the vertical center is in the middle of the Y of the background. So I think that this is the last uh, example of the video. I would like to comment that if you want to, um, to check more about the uh, anchors and horizontal center and uh, layouts, uh, there is a good uh, documentation here in Qt. So I think that it's very complete to understand everything about this and just uh, have an eye about this. Uh, so basically this is the whole idea, hope you enjoy and thank you for watching this video. See you later.